Stopping dairy production isn't a quick and easy process. Staff redundancies, giving notice on contracts and dispersing your herd take time and patience. Here in Stornoway, on the Isle of Lewis at my family's dairy farm, we are currently in the process of dispersing our herd of 35 Holston Frisian cows. We've been in the industry for more than 60 years, processing and bottling our own milk, delivering it to customers across the island, but sadly rising input costs mean it's no longer feasible to be a dairy farmer in Stornoway and we've made the decision to get out of the industry. Um, there comes a time when you've just got to stop. When your uh, input costs are going up all the time and uh, your customer base is going down all the time, then you just have to stop. And so at the end of the day, it's just a business. And were you running at a loss for a while before? Um, it was gradually getting worse and worse. I wouldn't, it was actually happened quite quickly in the end in that um, for instance, the price of uh, diesel went through the roof, price of fertiliser, and it has to be said the number of geese. So it was very, very difficult to grow anything, and the little bit you could grow cost a fortune. Plus, of course, the supermarkets using milk as a loss leader. Um, and with the economic situation in the island, people are obviously going to go, they have to buy the cheaper product. Uh, they have to survive the same as we do. So. At the end of the day, it was just, it was just a victim of circumstance. And how do you feel about stopping dairy production? Um, like I say, it's a business decision. I've been doing it for a while. Um, in fact, probably my whole working life. But um, I won't miss getting up. In fact, uh, spending more of my, most of my life away from home. Uh, quite look forward to getting a long lie, in fact. <laughs>